In today's video, I'm gonna be helping you guys, the high handicappers, the beginner golfers, get better scores on the golf course with these three simple tips. The first tip we're gonna be looking at is distances and club selection because a lot of players from around about this distance, I'm 150 yards from the middle of the green, I'm right in line with the 150 yard marker, and I know that an eight iron is my, is my club of choice. You might be seven, you might be nine, you might be six, you might be hybrid, who knows. But I know that for me, an eight iron would take me to the middle of that green. But I've also got to take into consideration wind direction, which let's be fair today, there isn't much, but it's slightly into my wind. So because it's slightly into, and I'm slightly sheltered, I'm gonna add on five yards. We're now at 155. I'm going slightly uphill as well. I'm gonna add on five more yards. So I'm, gonna, I'm now at 160. If, if you have a range finder or a watch or a device of some sort that tells you front, middle and back, take the back yardage. So we're at 150 on the markers at the golf course to, to the middle. So I'm gonna take my back yardage. So for here, I'm gonna zap the mounds at the back of the green, which is actually perfect for the video, 160. So I know I've got 10 yards of green behind the center. So instead of hitting my eight iron, which would actually, with that tiny bit of wind, that little bit of upslope, also maybe taking into consideration not hitting the absolute perfect strike, I'm gonna club up. The majority of golfers finish short. I challenge you to go on your next round of golf, take an extra club everywhere, and try not to hit a single approach shot short. Plenty of club, I've missed the flag a little bit left, but I'm safely on the green. That brings me perfectly to tip two, because we've got to execute that shot, okay? So we need to have a consistent pre-shot routine. It doesn't have to be overly elaborate, okay? I want you to, first of all, you get your yardage, which we know is 150 to the middle of the green, because that's where I am in relation to the yardage markers. I've zapped the back of the green, I know it's 160, so I've got my yardage. I know the wind, I can feel the wind. I know that I'm going slightly uphill because I can see the uphill. So I'm now thinking 160 to the middle. That all takes you a lot faster to do it than it is to explain it. Now, set up routine. Always do your practice swings behind the golf ball. So you feel like when you actually finish, you've hit the golf shot. The ball's there, you've hit the golf shot. Give me two practice swings. And because you're already now behind the ball, line up the club straight down the target line, or if you hit a slight draw, aim right, if a slight fade, aim left for right-handed golfers. I hit a slight draw, so I'm gonna aim a tiny bit to the right of the pin. Now, I'm not gonna do that if the pin's on the right of the green, because I don't wanna miss the green right. So that's a whole nother story. We don't need to worry about that just yet. So a tiny bit to allow for my shape. I don't, I don't hit the golf ball straight, so I'm not expecting to hit this golf shot straight. Always line the club up first. Control that face nice and square to the target line. Take the grip, do the width of stance and ball position at the same time. Get comfortable into your posture. Mid iron, just set a little bit of weight into that lead side because I want to feel a little bit of turf interaction. Moving on your legs, bouncing on your knees. Be ready, don't go from a static position into your golf swing. Move around, bounce on the knees. You'll see the best players in the world, they wiggle the bum, they do something. They, they have this little bit of tendency with the wrist just to kind of pull the club back practicing that takeaway, initiating that rotational movement with the posture, making sure that rib cage and the shoulders are ready to turn around that spine angle. I'm ready. Bit of ground interaction, lovely trapping of the ball, straight into the ground with the club, lovely divot and a beautiful outcome. Right, let's head up to the green for number three. Now, many of us have faced this situation. We've got to go uphill to the pin from the fairway. It is the middle of summer. Now, in the UK, summers aren't that great. So I'll be honest, the fairway is tight. It's relatively dry. The grass is short. There are a few bumps and hollows along the way. As a high handicap golfer, I challenge you to get down within, well, in three shots. One onto the green, two putts. Now, you can stand here with a lob wedge and a sand wedge and perfect the short game and be really comfortable with the short game and kind of go for that real dead arm action where you keep the triangle between your shoulders and your hands, narrow the stance, 
70% of the body weight onto the left side. Just make sure you turn the body through. Keep the wrist out of this. All I want you to do on this shot is get that ball onto the front edge of the green. The bigger the arc, the further the ball goes. Now that's worked out quite lovely, if I do say so myself. However, if you are coming up towards the end of your round and you've got a good score going, you're feeling a little bit nervous about life, let's just take out external factors such as nerves and then external factors such as fatting the shot. Grab a putter. You could even go from the semi-rough. Remember, I want you to get down in three shots. I want you to power this onto the green. I would, I actually go left hand below right when I put, but I would go into a normal grip position here, not kind of interlocking, but just a bit more of a normal uh, right below left. I'd allow a little bit of wrist angle in the swing just to kind of encourage a little tiny bit more speed. And I'm just gonna get this thing on the green. Okay, and we are up and onto the green. I'm around about 20 feet away. I'm in two put range. From, I would say, this is 20 yards from the pin, up to 50 yards from the pin. I would not be against you using the putter. This game is all about how many, not how, okay? So yes, if you're comfortable with the wedge, be, keep sim really simplify the technique. Go with a dead arm, dead wrist, weight onto the left side. But remember, when you turn your body, which you should do, turn your chest, follow it with the hips and follow it through. Always follow through longer than you went back. That is really key on this particular shot when you're using the wedges. If you're not comfortable with a wedge, you could go down to a seven iron or you just go even flatter on the face and you grab your putter and you whack it up there. Try and get down every single time in three shots from inside of 20 yards. When, you, when you're comfortable at that, then maybe start to take note of how you are from 50 yards. Hitting the green in one and two putting is the absolute goal for this. I hope these three tips have helped you for your next round of golf. If they have, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. And just for the record, both shots are in two putt range. Maybe even a sneaky one putt now and again, it might drop, you never know. There's your one, and there's your two.